welcome back to a new vlog guys it's monday evening yes and i am about to remove my gel polish yes as i have said in um another vlog i don't remember which one but i now do my gel nails at home because i found this really cool brand from canada called gel care and the reason why I decided to do it at home is because I have the UV gel lamp for about 10 years. So I was like, might as well use it and save some money. Uh, but also this brand has the prettiest colors, especially the nudes. They have all types of different nudes that would suit all types of different skin tones. Because not all nudes, not one nude can like fit every skin tone. So very pretty they have really beautiful shades and then really beautiful colors and last time that i spoke about it a lot of you asked me how do you remove it how do you do it blah blah, blah. and going into another subject i'm going to chicago on wednesday afternoon and so i'm kind of getting ready for my trip and so i definitely need to do my nails before i go I am kind of wanting to switch things up and because I'm because usually with my work uh, I always have to have natural nails so very nude colors I can't really have a red or whatever so I'm always doing this but because I'm gonna be on vacation for a week I feel like it's time for me to switch things up so I think that I'm gonna go for square kind of square round red nails burgundy nails it's a pretty easy process honestly it takes a little bit of time but it's an easy process okay so what do we need um just to give an intro of this vlog this vlog is gonna be a very short vlog it's going to be monday tuesday <laughs> together before i head out to chicago so we are going to spend some time at home get ready for the trip pack up some things and uh I don't know what else <laughs> you need to buy a um, soak off for semi-permanent so it's really for it's made for gel nail polish so you have to make sure you buy this so i this brand i buy it at the french supermarket called monoprix but you probably have other brands that do it but you just need to make sure that they do remove gel nail polish or your nail polish will not come off then I have these little cotton pads. What I do is I cut them in four, like so. Simple foil from my kitchen. I cut them like this, I prepare them. First step before we do any of this is to actually file. So you need a very hard kind of file. What you need to do is to file a little bit the nail, the top of your nail, until it's not shiny anymore so that the product the acetone or i don't know how you call this can really come in and kind of lift off your gel polish so take this side and just do it like this it shouldn't be painful it shouldn't hurt so be gentle okay so final result on my little pinky see it's completely matte you have to make sure to really take all the shiny part around so you're sure that it's going to lift off perfectly i'm done doing the whole hand so this is what it's looking like one little cotton round put it on the nail and then recover it with foil close the tip and there you go <laughs> Look at this one, how satisfying. See how it just peels off. Here is the final result. I am done. I've removed all of the gel polish. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna do shape, a better shape, I would say, and cuticles and nail polish tomorrow. I do like to do the process in two times, just to let my nails a little bit breathe and also because it's long so i feel like if i do everything in one time it just like spend 
an hour and a half doing it. So I like to just cut things out. It's the next day guys and I'm still at home. Well, I'm not still at home. I did go out to my dinner yesterday. It was so lovely. We had such a beautiful sunset. I am rushing to get so much done before I leave to Chicago so I can be a little bit on vacation and free of mind, if you see what I mean. And one of the difficulties of all of this is that we are launching production. And so I have to make sure that the factory has all supplies ready for whenever they need to start production. Because the thing is like, you take your supplies in and then figure out their schedule. So, um, you know, everything just needs to be ready for the time where they're going to start sliding in each process. Because it starts with cutting the fabric. With fabric, they're going to go to sewing and then they're going to go to you know, um, taking it to steamer and then to the folding part and putting it into the little envelopes. So all of that needs to be timed for them. But for them to do that, they need supplies. Because it is a small production, if you do a very big production, which we've done, uh, you usually just ship everything from your supplier to the factory. But because it's a smaller production, just 40 pieces, I'm going to bring myself all the supplies because I actually have them in hand. As I've explained, we had leftovers, everything from previous productions. So we're just using them to do this little piece that I love so much. I cannot wait to have mine actually, because um, the prototype is back to the factory as they need it as a reference. Oh, I have seen comments that were talking about fit. Fit has been adjusted. I didn't talk about it in that video because I didn't want to confuse you guys. Um, but yeah, we do fitting adjustment and definitely it was a little tight under my arm and we did the fitting adjustment. So everything is as we usually size. So that's all good. It's the afternoon and I have so much to do. I even, I haven't even, I've done nothing for my trip. So I need to get this done. And then I'm going to have, I'm just going to go have a little coffee with a friend. And then I'm going to get into packing for Chicago and getting ready for my trip. Um, but yeah, let's get all of this ready for the factory. So what do we have? We have brand labels, composition labels, ready buttons. So this is 40 buttons. See how tiny it is? It's not much supplies when you do 40. For beautiful envelopes. Da -da -da that I am going to already prepare to put the little extra button because there is one button on the shirt. We offer an extra one into this little uh, seated pouch so you can plant it and then it'll make flowers. So like this, there is less waste. Well, it's not even a question of waste. It's just that making these seed paper, um, these seed paper pouches, actually seed paper is recycled paper. It requires less water and all that to make. So we're just, using less resources when using that. We're doing this. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of packing in this, in this vlog. The fabric. This is what 45 meters of fabric look like. It's like tiny, right? When I tell people, oh, I'm gonna go get 45 meters, they're like, wow, that's so much. And I'm like, this is what it looks like. It's so easy to <laughs> walk around with it. Okay, let's go to the factory. We are packing, finally. I am so excited. It is already 8 p.m. I've had such a long day, but everything went successfully at the factory. It's already past 8 p.m. and I have so much to do. So I need to finish my nails. I need to pack. And I kind of want to do a spa night. You know what I mean? Like a pre-flight spa night. And uh, I want to get as much done before I leave tomorrow my flight's at 1 p.m. but you know I like a morning before a flight to do a little yoga have a breakfast just take my time I am low energy at this point <sighs> let's do this let's do this let's do this I first need to <laughs> uh, take everything that's inside of this luggage because it's actually my 
summer wardrobe. It's where I kept all the things that I wasn't going to wear this winter. So it's all my summer dresses and all of that. So I need to take everything out. I have to say that I don't like to pack. It's something that stresses me out because it's not the packing. I like to pack it's because I'm always scared to not have the looks that I'm going to want to wear once I'm there. And the problem this time is that the weather is kind of crazy. I arrive there, it's going to be 10 degrees, so not very warm. And then it's going to be... 24 during the weekend so it's going to be warmer but how warm i don't know is it windy i don't know is it a warm warm i don't know or is it kind of warm cold i don't know i have for now put a lot of things on the side but it feels like i'm going to chicago for five weeks so i need to edit at this point because i don't need all of this but at the same time my mom's making fun of me because she's in the back of the camera She's listening to me. Yes, mom, I know. So I'm probably just going to pack all over the place. And I have space, so I feel like I can go, you know. No, no, I need to stay focused. So I need to take all of this, <laughs> put it somewhere. So someone once asked me, where do you put all your things? Because it's very, you need to be very minimalistic since you don't have that much closet space. Well... I don't know if I'm minimalistic, but I'm definitely creative because this is where I am. Um, yeah, I just hide stuff. It's in suitcases. Oh. Since I dread always packing, I always start, I do a little list on my phone and then I always start by the things that are easy. <laughs> so I don't have to think about it. I'm like, okay, this is easy. I know I need it. I know I'm going to bring it with me. And then I'm going to start packing some clothing. First thing is okay, my panties and socks. Easy. Then I pack a pajama because I know that I'm going to use. It gives me that thing like, oh, check. I put the little pajamas in. So I'm going somewhere. I am packing denim. These I know I'm going to wear. So like this, it's done. What am I taking like four pants? Is that a lot? I don't think so. Because I need like daytime pants, nighttime pants. You know what I mean? So that's that. Packing my little, I don't know, a set. Because I definitely want to check out one or two Pilates classes there. Then I'm going to pack tube tops. She, my friend that's, so my best friend is living there at the moment. So she's like, I've prepared a whole plan for you. Like all the restaurants are booked up and all of that. So I guess we will be going out. So I feel like I need cute tops. I'm packing this. I've received it two days ago or three days ago. I've spoken about this corset before. It's from Colt Naked. It's in a Ukrainian brand. Lisa bought it like three years ago and I kept borrowing it from her. So now I finally bought my own. Let me close it up. Perfect. Simple black shirt, silk black shirt. We know we need simple staple pieces. The way I do my luggage, like if I think of looks, sometimes I'm gonna make looks if it's like a short trip so that I'm not overpacking and I need like smaller. When I say short trip, it's like two, three days. This is a seven day trip. So I feel like there's more, I need more looks. I need more options. So the way I'm going to pack is kind of the way I did my styling video is kind of how I shop. So it's denim, cute tops to go out, basic tops for the day, um, one sportswear or two sportswear looks, and sweaters, a coat, one or two blazers, and that's it. <sighs> I feel like I've packed some good things. Now I need sweaters in case I'm cold. I'm gonna pack this little, I'm gonna pack this lily silk cashmere sweater. I feel it's perfect staple for the day. Keeps me warm, but it still looks super cute and cool. This over the shoulder little gray sweater. It's nice to go from day to night with this. Oh, I need basic top. I'm telling you, it feels like I have 
I'm leaving for months. I'm leaving for months. But you know what I do? I put all of this in my luggage and then I go to sleep <laughs> and I start thinking of the looks that I did in a way in my luggage. I don't know if that makes sense. And then I'm like, oh, maybe that I'm not gonna wear or oh, it's missing this. So in the morning, there is always like a 10 minute editing part before I leave for the Air Force somewhere, pulling things out. I am not an organized packer, but it works for me. Um, one day I'll be more organized. I feel with time, I will learn. But for now, this works. I'm now gonna pack my supplements because this I know I need, the herbal teas that I have here. I have ashwagandha for, you know, it helps you with stress. Magnesium, vitamin C, collagen. Ooh. And I've received, so as you know, I take this hair supplement, hair and scalp supplement from the brand M. And as I've said before, they actually have a subscription program, which is literally the whole point of taking supplements. It's the easiest way to stay super committed to your supplements, I would say. Ever since I've subscribed in what, September, I've been taking my supplements. It really has given me such beautiful hair. One thing that I have to say, so I've done hair supplements before, but I would do them one month, two months, so you never see any difference. And I've been super consistent now because I don't have to think of buying them. And I just received this at home. This is this cute little packet. I just open it up and refill my existing bottle. Your girl's back. It's 1 a.m. <laughs> So I'm officially on Chicago time, so that's great. Um, I came back home when I packed and I was so tired that I was very, 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 very slow. Um, but I have now more energy, so I'm finishing up with my packing. Usually when I travel the next day, I don't mind not sleeping much. One, because I'm actually adjusting to the time zone. And two, I love to just sleep and relax in a plane. I am one of those people that can fall asleep before a plane departs and then until it lands. So I might do that. I've had a couple of days that were pretty much full of work because I wanted to get so much done so I could be like completely free during the next few days that I need to relax now. And I was packing my skincare, just taking cleansing oil, the toner to go with it, um, the hyaluronic toner, vitamin C for the day, snail mucin for the night, and then just my moisturizer that'll double up as a day and night cream. And that's it. Very, very simple skincare for Chicago. Oh, I always have little mini drops from the 10 Lux because I always love to give myself a glow from time to time. And then I have a, also a mini bottle of Zoom. So like this, I have my little hair oil and that's it. You know how I said, oh, I'm going to do a full on spa night. I'm just going to really get ready for bed quickly. I did my nails guys. Okay. So I didn't film the process of actually putting the nail polish because it was late and I, I just needed to get things done. Um, so I said that I wanted to do square and burgundy, but I purchased the color Pinot Noir and I am very disappointed because it just looked a little bit more red, dark red burgundy on the website and it actually is a little bit more purple in real life. And guess what? I hate the color purple. Like, I don't know why. It's not a color that makes me vibe. So. I don't know why I had that idea, but I did. I said, oh, let me just do my pinky to see if I like the color, right? So I did the three coats, the three layers of, and I was like, ooh, I don't like this. <gasps> Thank God I didn't do my whole set of hands because then it took me half an hour to take it off because taking new gel polish is oof, a little bit of a challenge. I just did simple square nails and natural. Um, I did one layer of coconut milk and one layer of nude, yeah, nude BB cream. Nude BB cream? Yeah, nude BB cream. I'm gonna take my makeup off with you guys. Bought this a few months ago. I love it, guys. I love, love, love. This is from a Korean brand called Haru Haru Wonder. 
It's the Black Rice Moisture Deep Cleansing Oil. I love this. I'm pretty acne prone skin and my skin can sensitive and can freak out. This has passed the test. It did not make me break out or anything. It removes makeup well. I even put it on my eyes and it works very well. One of the things that I love about cleansing oils is how you can massage this into your skin. And really this one, a little bit goes a long way. You just put one pump and it'll take all of your makeup off. I do, or I do two times cleansing oil, which I'm gonna do tonight, or I do one time cleansing oil and then a cleanser. See, I gently rub off my mascara. See, it comes off. See, already my skin feels very squeaky clean and glowy. And I'm now gonna do another layer of this cleansing oil. And I love to do this when I want to gua sha. I've had this gua sha forever. Anyone that knows me knows that I am a beauty addict in a way. I don't know. I just love testing new things. And I've started hearing about gua sha. I was living in my first apartment in Paris. So I was really the beginning of my 20s, maybe 2021. So it was 10 years ago. And I remember going to the Bon Marché and they had this brand called Chaling. And it was kind of the only brand that sold gua sha at the time. So it's not even like a jade gua sha or anything. It's the porcelain type, but it glides the same. I've just always, from time to time, always loved to gua sha my face. To me, gua sha helps to kind of lift, especially your eyebrow area and to depuff your face and it's just a really relaxing moment of massage i would say so i recently discovered a girl i have no idea i don't remember the name of her channel um but i recently discovered her on youtube and she has an amazing channel for gua sha tutorial the reason why i think they're amazing is that usually the tutorials you see the girls are like this is what you're supposed to do and then you know they tell you just do it yourself right whereas this girl is like a follow along and i thought that it was really nice and so lately i've been really enjoying to just do her follow along videos they all have kind of a theme it can be like how to snatch her jawline and things like that but the best part is really like she's like follow so she's like 30 seconds here so you do this for 30 seconds and then she's like next step 30 seconds here you know what i mean and so you don't have to think about what you're doing you just follow her and i find that a little bit more like motivating a little bit more easy to kind of get into the mood and be like oh i'll just follow turn off the brain and just follow her but what i'm doing now is literally just from the top of my mind um, but I recommend going to her videos because she knows the technique way better than I and if you've never done gua sha at least um, I think she will really teach you how to do it you always want to kind of hold your skin Also, I have a lot of like jaw tension, so I love to do this just to massage my jaw here. Oh, it feels so nice. Okay, I washed the oil off, did a little snow mucin. I'm just gonna do a sculpt treatment because I will be washing my hair 
before I go to the airport. Um, the reason why is that in the US, I do not have, I cannot bring my own hair tool. My friend there has a hair dryer, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. So I kind of want to secure a blow dry at least in the three first day of my trip, <laughs> and then I'll figure it out. I'm using the Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Straightening Oil. I love, I love, love this thing. I love the smell of it. It's very, it gives a little aromatherapy kind of vibe. Rosemary is very good for just to make your hair grow and healthy. And I have to say, ever since, I'd say since September, where I've been very careful with my hair routine, my hair has been really thriving. I guess, you know, it does pay off when you're consistent with your routines, face routine, skincare routine, hair care routine. As much as sometimes it is truly a pain in the butt. This oil is very slippery, so you have to be quick or you'll put a lot on your face. <laughs> you just go in like this with the dropper. I love using the dropper. It just really helps you get the oil right into your scalp. feels so nice. It feels very fresh on the scalp, so it feels very, very detoxifying. And once I've done, I put in the oil into my roots, I'm gonna work it in with this little hair gua sha. This guy is really, you can do little zigzags. It really works the oil in and it's just See how all of a sudden my hair got more oily because the oil is being well distributed and I need to go to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I washed my hair as you can see. I'm looking like a French king, you know, like anyway. Yes, this is my natural curly hair. So you can see because I don't know if everyone has seen this before, but I was like, oh, let me show this before I dry it out. We're thriving, guys. I woke up 6.30. It's now 8 a.m. I've done emails. I'm almost done packing, drying my hair. We're thriving. We're thriving. We're thriving. So this is good. I'm feeling energized. Dry this hair. I'm almost done using the Extreme Anti-Snap by red can to protect my hair from heat. I cannot say how much I love this extreme line from red can. Their shampoo, their conditioner, and this is really good. Really, really good. I did the conditioner and shampoo today. My hair is so soft. My Dyson's getting repaired, so I have this old <laughs> hair dryer but the real reality of it is that this i've had for i don't know how many years it never disappointed me whereas my dyson has been going back to the shop for the fourth time now so i don't know what to say about it you know before and after. <laughs> this little yoga before heading out which is so nice to just like stretch my whole body not only because it's morning time but since I'm gonna be sitting in the plane for so many hours it's nice to get a stretch in drinking my little matcha before I go I wanted to update you guys on a book that I'm reading currently reading almost done with it called the 
authority gap, why women are still taken less seriously than men, and what should we do about it. If you follow me for a while, you know that the my absolute favorite book that I read in 2023 was called Invisible Woman, which was one of the most eye-opening books I have read in a really long time um, about gender equality. So this one, uh, Invisible Woman, was really about data, how women are not taken into account in data, even though, you know, we are roughly in the population equal to men um, in terms of numbers. But when you look at studies in all types of industry and in all types of field, medical, transportation, and other ones, women are in a minority. So the way their body function, the way they, the behavior they have, you know, social behavior, daily behavior is really not taken into account in a way where it's 50-50 to men. And it just shows how much impact that has on women's lives everywhere in the world. And so that book was extremely interesting to read. And so then that's why I went to it in this one because it was kind of different, but it's still in the very, very same, I would say, topic. Um, this one is more focused on the authority app and how to close it. And what's very interesting is that there's a lot of testimonies of very powerful women that have high authority jobs, um, prime ministers, you know, and all of that. And they explain, you know, how much it was hard for them to get to that point. And even when they were, you know, named prime minister and all of that, they were still doubted about their capacities. And very clearly it was just because they were women and that people around weren't used to see women in such powerful positions. This type of books are really, really interesting to read as much as for women and men because what they show you, especially in this book, is how much there is unconscious bias in our society daily, in our daily life. And the thing about it is that it's unconscious, so we are not consciously doing these things. And unless we read these types of books that kind of open our eyes into where this unconscious bias manifests itself daily, we cannot make progress. Honestly, before I have read these books, I did not understand really truly where the gender equality problem was. And now I really understand where it lies and where it manifests itself and what we can actually do to actually evolve. So very, very important books. I feel like it's books that teenagers in high school should be reading because it's just part of our society and it's super important that we're conscious of the problem so we can finally like evolve, even if we have evolved enormously in these past years, uh, there is still a lot to do and we honestly don't realize it until we read these books and we're like, oh my god, there's so much to do still. So amazing read, highly recommend. I'm ready to leave, I'm all packed. I have my nice tote bag where I can put so many things, my suitcase, and I'm ready. Let's go to Chicago. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I wish you all a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you are. And I'll catch you guys in my next vlog in Chicago. Bye guys. Bye.